Home is our hub. Being at home is so important to our sense of self-worth and dignity. Each year, communities around our state do what's called a point-in-time count of the homeless population. It's like a snapshot of the way homelessness looks on any given night in North Carolina. In 2018, there were 801 identified homeless veterans in North Carolina. That's who's experiencing homeless that night. The number of veterans who actually experience homelessness over the course of a year is closer to about 2,400. When I finally came to grips with the fact that I was, in fact, homeless, um, it was a very, very troubling time for me. I joined the Army in February 2001 as an airborne infantryman. Uh, during my six years of service, I deployed three times to Iraq and Afghanistan, uh, was stationed in Korea for a year and Germany for three years. Uh, I had a lot of expectations about what, what life would be after the military and quite frankly none of them were true. That's when the 2008 market crash happened and uh, everything really kind of came tumbling down. You know, when you, when you look at everything you own right in front of you and, and that's it, no matter how, how hard you've worked in the past, the money you had and the things that you had, when it's, you can literally count it almost on your fingers, it really puts things into perspective and I lost it all. The majority of the veterans that are homeless aren't homeless because that's what they want to be. They're homeless because socially they've hit a roadblock. Once I heard the numbers, that inspired me to uh, do my part to do whatever I, I can. We were approached by Terry Alaba to provide research and design ideas for veteran homelessness. They asked if we could envision micro-housing villages, and these are collections of small, independent living units and how they might be built. We don't want to be pitied. We're not looking for handouts even when we desperately need them. What we're really looking for is a hand up. What we need to successfully house veterans as well as all those who are experiencing homelessness is access to decent affordable housing. We're going to take the work and the studies done by the students here at the school to create two plans. The housing part is something that we could do and, and there was a, a need there so I wanted to do what we could. This was a project that was run as a graduate design studio. As a result, we ended up in the studio with some very talented students. They want to make this world a better place in ways that the built environment has very special roles to play. A microhome is a condensed version of a single family home, but outside of that all the remaining functions are there. It is going to provide uh, permanent housing for veterans who have experienced homelessness. It's going to be designed in such a way that it's an asset both to how the community looks and feels, but how the community thinks about itself. Being a part of a community uh, is, is incredibly vital because having that community uh, really helps people kind of stay right and I think micro-housing uh, can, can help considerably. There is a deep abiding interest in veterans who might be experiencing homelessness, those who have served our country. It does not rest well with anyone that that man or woman or their families would be rendered homeless. So let's do something. I think it's easy to make the connection with a veteran because you know what they've done. They've sacrificed a certain portion of their lives. I think the beneficiaries of a microhome project like this are everybody in the community. So the, the, the outlook is we're doing good work and we've actually learned what works and we know what to do. And certainly with uh, veterans homelessness, what we've seen is when there's political will as well as increased resources and existing know-how, we can make tremendous strides forward. So if you're truly passionate about it, be the change. Help personally. Helping a vet homeless veteran get himself out of his own problems uh, is one of the best uh, pieces of advice I can give anybody that's focused on this community.